I almost drowned. <laughs> just took a go of my water, it went in my nose. That shit stings. I, I can see right now I'm not author uh, this, Aquaman. Uh, this nigga but, needs to drink water with floaties on. Just right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I didn't told you about filling that cup all the way up. <laughs> he needs a new right swim backpack. I'm about to drink some Dasani. Why well, you got a swim backpack on? You don't know how I drink Dasani, my nigga. Oh my god! You're like, hey, hey, beer, sippy top, sippy top. You know what we talking about? That mug shot in my nose. Well, pause. <laughs> Man, you come straight out of the comic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. I'm your host, Will Farrell. As you can see, I got the Farrell Marvel. That may not be too, too revealing just yet, but as you can see, uh, CT Sam is in the building, Dion Lack, and of course, Brandon Brody. And we got, we are talking Shazam 2 today and the clusterfuck of a movie it was but that is going to be our main topic today of course we have some other things we're talking about we're also talking about other movies that have disappointed us what were our top our top tier most disappointing movies that we've seen but of course we always have to first start off with jumping into the hot topic that's what it feels like ct welcome dion almost died from uh drinking water i'm just glad it's in a normal bottle bro look at this this is growth yeah, see, this, this is mine right here. What is that? Oh, that's your canteen. Oh, yeah. Nice. Those, those are me everywhere. I, I feel out of touch. I'm drinking hibiscus LaCroix. I ain't even... I just nah, got... nah, you, <laughs> you in a different tax bracket. Don't try that shit. I'm Whatever you drink LaCroix, I mean, LaCroix, your... Hibiscus flavored up. Oh, I like. I know your pockets are crazy. The, lemon, the lime, the orange, the the, cla- the hits. And then I, I said, let me see what this hibiscus is talking about. Hibiscus. I didn't even know they had that. That's how you know that's a different yeah. tax bracket. Um, WrestleMania weekend, uh, Pharaoh. Yes, WrestleMania weekend is upon us. This actually will be dropping during that time, so that's actually something we could jump into before the hot topic. Um, uh, I am not going. Um, I wanted to, but. Going to WrestleMania by yourself ain't, ain't as much fun. You want to go with a group. Um, I immediately, I reached out to all, most all of my wrestling, my WWE superstar friends and was like, hey, yo, because I didn't want WrestleMania tickets. I wanted Raw after Mania tickets. So I hit up every WWE superstar, active and non-active that I know. And I was like, yo, I know. WrestleMania is a big ask, but Raw after Mania, is it possible? And they all was like, ah, I wish, but I was like, yeah. so I decided I'm throwing a viewing party for WrestleMania weekend. That Saturday and Sunday, bam. And I Maybe Monday, there. depending on how they go. And I shall be there. Um, I definitely tried to get in on uh, Friday SmackDown and stuff like that. But it was I don't want to see, because here's the thing. That's dope that you tried to get into it, but to be there the day before the event, you already know it's not going to be as crazy. Not not as much, but you get a chance to get other access. Because the other thing I really wanted outside of that, because I knew I wasn't going to get Raw and mm-hmm. stuff like that. But I was like, if I could get NXT, because oh. it's at crypto. So it's not at SoFi. So I was like, oh, maybe I can go watch that. Because I would love, I want to see like Braun Breaker and uh, Carmelo Hayes. Mm. Like, go I was like, that's at least one match I want to see. And so I was like, I'm trying to see if I could get it. But if not, I was more excited for your viewing party than anything. Because I'm like, I know this is going to be epic. Like, I like, this is more fun than actually paying to go see the event. To be oh, yeah. with your homies for two nights. It's going to be crazy. Everybody wrestling through. So, yeah, it's going to be insane. Will and CT, y'all, y'all don't go with kids? Y'all just go by yourself? As, First of as all, as I don't go anywhere with children. And I don't need that to be known right now. I, I, I don't do I, anything I, mean, I just, I just need to know, man, children. because I, I, just, I just feel like y'all know the, the, the reality of WrestleMania. But y'all just, y'all, y'all, y'all put in your mind that this is. What do you mean by that? By the reality of WrestleMania? It's scripted. We all know that, right? So so y'all 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 watch it as like it's a movie because I would have the excuse of like my children are enjoying this, but secretly I'm enjoying this. 
Hey, be, be careful, are... Dion. I know, I know. I, no, I know. I'm sticking CT, with it. CT took his uh, glasses off, bro. No, you, I'm sticking with it, man. What do you no. What do you mean by that? Like when you say it's scripted? Yeah, we get that it's scripted. Is right. there something wrong with scripted uh, entertainment? No, I just I just feel like it's weird. It's like a grown man going to like a, a Mary J. Blige Blige concert. It kind of feel like. You I would never that. go to a Mary J. Blige, but That's when you talk about like scripted, you gotta go with your girl. You gotta have motive. Yeah. You gotta have a reason to go there without feeling feeling judged. When like, movies well, come out, this is no different than a lot of movies. Tyrese concert because it's a man up there shirtless singing performing for a bunch of people. Why did you make him shirtless in your scenario? Like in your because scenario, he doesn't have to be shirtless as face. Wrestle people are shirtless. <laughs> they're and not wrestle people. Jamming. Like they're. A, a they're community they're of terrible. Smurfs. They are literally human beings, and they are professional. <laughs> Wrestling is. What did you say? It's a, it's a I, think, I think Will is hacking your Zoom right now. I think he's about to shut your shit down, bro. Behind, I don't know what kind of description, and in the middle of that, you kind of came out to us with making Tyree shirtless at his concert. Oh, oh that's Will. Will, yeah. not that Will is a wrestler, so Come I was on. like, "This man, oh, yeah. this is Will in the ring, the squared circle." I don't you know dig? what you did to that dude, Will, but I don't think he's still alive, is he? <laughs> oh, it was not a great day for him. It was not a great day. I don't know what move you just did, but the fact that you landed on one foot after that move, yo, that. <laughs> I like this. I like the attire because it looked like you just came in from the streets and was like, yeah. "Oh, you got a title. <laughs> I want it." He got yeah, Air Force Ones on, yo. Yo, was that your persona, Will? When you did you wear jerseys yeah. with everything? Oh, that's yeah, dope. that was it. Yeah, I was just wearing jerseys yeah. with the with the uh, Air Forces. I switched from the black Air Forces and was just acting the fool, bro. What and year was, was this? It. This was in two thousand, from two thousand five to two thousand eight. Damn, so, uh, Cena might have stole your gimmick, bro. Yeah, Every, yo, people, people damn. Say that. I was just like, I can't fully time it. I was like, so I don't know if he took mine or not, but I was just like, okay, yay. Yeah, it is was what it jersey is. Jersey customized? Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> what was funny was um it was supposed to be a customized Tracy McGrady high school jersey. Mm. What did it say on it? Pharaoh? Mm -mm, it said McGrady on it. It was uh, a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the thing is, I don't you got I don't, that lids. I don't think he had a high school jersey. That was the funny part of it. Oh. Yeah, let, hold on, let me continue defending uh, this real quick, Will, because Dion's out of control. I haven't forgot about the disrespect. Oh, yeah, I don't know. We're going to tag team on that one. Sorry. So, Dion, <laughs> we literally are doing a podcast about comic book movies on a regular basis. Semi-regular. It was not like every week. But wrestling, WWE, I'm a WWE guy. I'm not just a wrestling fan. I'm a WWE guy. And WWE is sports entertainment. Mm -hmm. It's telling an incredible story in the ring these are professional athletes these are incredible human beings that are able to do things death defying safely by the way and there's an incredible storyline attached it's like watching a live movie so um i think it's for people of all ages as a matter of fact Dion like it's something that i watched as a child it's something that i got into and continued to be into into my adulthood. I took a break for about 10 years because I was like, all right, I don't think I'm out of wrestling. And then like every true WWE fan, you come back to it when you find something new. And he opened uh, the Bible to 316. There's just so many signs in the world. <laughs> he had to get back. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. I just met Stone Cold Steve Austin at a I WWE 2K Games event. Shout out to WWE 2K23. Thank you for having me. Stone Cold Steve Austin hosted. It was incredible to meet your childhood hero, one of them. And uh, he was such a nice guy. It was an incredible uh, situation. And now brings us back to WrestleMania weekend. I definitely wanted to go. And I think had I been able to get like, I think I would have been able to get two tickets, but I was hitting people with outrageous numbers. I was like, hey, can I get four tickets to Raw after Mania? And they're like, ah, ha, ha, I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? If you had said me and my son wants to go, they'd be like, got you. No, no, you're not. Right, and that would make me feel and, horrible. And then let me let me definitely go ahead, Will. As well, because uh, Dion mentioned scripted. Mm -hmm. um, hey, let's really break this down. So let's folks, do it. Quit saying it. All sports are scripted. It called hey, man. 
No, the so so the same thing for us. They don't there want you to certain, know that. Those are a certain set of plays that we put through while we're in the ring. We mm -hmm. communicate with each other to say, "Hey, this is the sequence that we're going to do. Mm -hmm. This is how this is going to go." We don't receive who's going to win it until we walk out mm -hmm. of the entrance. Now, same thing for football. Are you not given a scripted play in which moving this way where you're supposed to do it, right? And you can't deviate from that. Otherwise, someone will get hurt, right? Mm -hmm. Dog, the Super Bowl is like they drop – it's like them dropping one Marvel film every year, bro. And, and it's like an Avengers – it's an Avengers film every year. You know, you see you see all the – everyone in the extended universe during the season, and then that's the Avengers movie. They and why do movie. I need to see a musical performance? That's that's a show, Dion Lack. Y'all don't that's watch sports, so there's no point in arguing with y'all. What you what you mean? He literally just brought up the Super Bowl. He watches the the Super Bowl. What is your favorite team, Will? My favorite in which sport? Football. <laughs> we talking about football. You're talking about football. You dropped the ball on that one. We talking about football. He definitely dropped the ball on that one. He's talking about football with that. He's like the South Dakota uh, Sacagaweas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Monarchs, yo. Go Sacks. Go Sacks. Go Sacks. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like the, the South coming at, coming in at center from the South Dakota Sacagaweas. That's <laughs> Sacagaweas, bro. That's such oh, a funny oh, ass title. I really wish that was a team Chihuahua. in some sport. So <laughs> Sacagaweas, the South Dakota. Oh, yeah, I, I can tell you my favorite sport. Hold on, just give me that's a second. That's funny. I, I thought we were talking about basketball. Hold up. Yeah, I did. Damn, that's funny. So what is, what is your the, reason the to not explain this to us? It, it doesn't matter, dude. The, 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 the description that CT said about it is a an entertainment, it is adults, and the blah, blah, blah. All that right there describes the porn. You can literally say all these people are, are, are we are watching people entertain us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is literally the description of porn. <laughs> and it's very script. If CT describes what wrestling is again, I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what point is. <laughs> what? By your by your description, nobody can win because it's like, hey, yo, TV shows are scripted. Yeah, but it, it's TV. All right, this but is actually a show on TV. Battle. They're yeah. not in love. They're not the real mailman. We are. What do you know? What game. do you watch UFC? Uh, Dion like? You that is very real. I said, do you watch it? I didn't ask you if it was real or not. Do you watch UFC? I don't watch it. Okay, so what the fuck is your problem with niggas watching WWE wrestling if you're not even a fan of real fighting? Because you're Ultimate fighter. 13, scrotum chin. I'm telling you, nigga, it's, 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 it's too... Dion Lack, you have one more euphemism to use with your fucking elbow face, nigga. I'm looking at your fucking elbow. I keep wanting you to turn around so I can see the rest of the arm attached to your body. Now, you talking about this shit like this wrestling ain't real, boy. This <laughs> WWE wrestling brings in way more money than your probably average favorite sport. What do you watch? I, baseball? You that person now? Hey, but we make more money than you. How about we do. We do. It's so a fact. What? Are we talking facts or are we talking about yeah, something no, that you no. like or don't like? But you said I like it because it makes money? No, I didn't say I like it because it makes money. I, uh, Brock? I Brock like isn't the only person. And the fact that you even know his name shows that you've dipped into WWE and you don't have any boys or any girls that are watching wrestling. So how did this really come about? Is this American Beauty moment where you're like, oh, I hate the uh, the people who are wrestling fans, but secretly you're a wrestling fan? Watching y'all like y'all really are into this. This is not even a joke. So what you're saying is you don't allow your friends to have joy unless it's something that you're also joyful about. That's what um, just like. for the sake of piggybacking off that, yes. I don't like y'all having joy with this. <sighs> I need y'all to fast. Wait, 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 hold on. So, so wait a minute. <laughs> I, we can't have joy in that, but we can have joy in watching the Power Rangers. Well, oh, let's not bring the Power Rangers in yeah. first. Let's talk about something else. Let's oh, say something oh, Dion I'm, likes. Oh, I'm just trying to power you up to Super Saiyan so you can probably... Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, ah! no, 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 no. Let's talk about things Dion likes, like uh, hats that he likes stretching out on that big-ass boulder's <laughs> head. <laughs> and the fucking knitted cat must be worn like that. <laughs> he had to stretch out everything. That was a sock originally. You didn't even buy the fucking skull cap. <laughs> this, this, is what, this is what people do when they, they get painted to a corner. What? Well, how about you? You look like blah blah blah. No, no, no. You literally started it. I never hit you with any roast until you said scrotum fucking face or some shit, and then you said something before that, and I was like, "Oh, Dion must have forgot 
who the original nigga was. Let me let me talk to this young brother. So yeah, I got back from South Park. We creating content right now. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Okay, but but with that, man, hopefully y'all will be watching WrestleMania this weekend. It is two nights, uh, Saturday, April first, and Sunday, April second. Plenty of matches for all ages to enjoy, Facts. and all people and all win. head sizes. No matter all what head <laughs> size you have, you can watch <laughs> WWE WrestleMania on Peacock for free this weekend. Yes, you can. So hopefully y'all be tuning in and staying entertained. But we're going to go ahead and move on to the hot topic of the episode. Um, We're keeping this a little bit more DC-based today. So uh, the big news, uh, but before I show it, we have to get a confirmation first because I always want to make sure that, you know, we we stick to CT's purism of how he watches movies. Mm. So um, one of the big things that releases when they showed the first images of Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn in the upcoming Joker sequel. Now, CT, have you seen these photos yet? I have. Okay. So is it cool for us to be able to show them and discuss them? You know what? Here's the thing, man. <clears throat> it's absolutely cool of you to do because you're not, we don't have a trailer for the Joker 2 yet. And um, my expectations aren't really there for this movie. Not saying good or bad, but it's just like, eh. This is the first uh, look at Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. Um, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't know what really is going on right now in this movie. Um, I've been hearing it's a musical. Mm. Uh, She's Harley Quinn, but he's not the Joker. So it's just, what's happening? I'll tell you this. The first song that they drop, if it's a musical, the first song that they drop better be so cold because if it's not, I'm giving them two songs. So if the first song ain't cold, I'm like, all right, you got one more shot. And then that second song drop. And if that second song is some bullshit too, like basically what set the standard for musicals for me as a kid watching movies were I just can't wait to be king. And then I saw uh I saw Grease. <laughs> it was playing on TV. And <laughs> I loved Nana Girl. I was like, oh my God, this is great. So that song got to be fire. If yeah. you try to make a musical, they all got to be classic. People want to download the soundtrack type of music. I just can't imagine CT just on the bleachers with his homeboys like summer loving. Tell me more. Tell me more. Did <laughs> she have a nice car? Like, yeah, that was me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Did she uh-huh. have a badass? Tell me more. See, we got to update that. Tell me more, tell me more. Did it sit like a this should have a BBL? You two would have definitely been rocking leather jackets. We gotta do that, movie. CT. It's done. It's done. We gotta write that joint. We're going to be there's gonna be a bunch of uh, the homies just sitting at the crib, yo. Tell me more, tell me more. Does he have a bad friend? That's facts. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, yo, more, Greece, tell people me more. slept Does on it. We have roommates. Summer days drifting away, but oh, 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 so nice. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, oh. damn, I'm telling you. Did you send a DM? No, he got banned on Twitch. Bro, literally call that shit grease. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Cooking, cooking the chicken, bro. It's about the chicken. Oh, nice. I'm about like like uh, the orange can, like, like wave grease. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, think it works oh yeah, Bala Murray's and the Murray's. <laughs> well, the Murray's. I can see it. I can Yo, see it. We gotta Maurice. do that, man. But I agree with you, CT. Though uh, on the Joker thing, man. First two songs got to bring, bring it in. Got to. Because when you do musicals, bro, you know, a lot a big thing used to be that um, just like superhero movies, like um, they're like, oh, these don't do well with certain minority groups. And that's not true. Minorities love musicals. We just love songs that we can rock with. The reason the animated film Hercules was so dope is because it had a gospel choir singing these songs Mm -hmm. with this rhythm that to this day, when you start hearing songs, you're like, oh my God. Um, So 
Joker has to give you. Go ahead, B. Uh, B. I was gonna say you, you didn't mention a goofy movie. Oh, but I'm only talking about the choir okay. compared to a uh, goofy movie. I still haven't seen, so we can't even. Oh, I can't even acknowledge favorite. it. That's my favorite Disney. It has some of the best music. I ain't seen like, it. A goofy movie has some of the yeah. best music. And you know what's so bad? Like, yo, I can't even tell them you got to go watch it because I'm like, it's not going to hit you as hard as it hit us. As a kid, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah, because we were because we were uh, old enough at that time when it was just like uh, when they got out of school. That mm. was us. Yeah. After today? Yeah. My brain told me Susan. Woo! I'm like, yo, that was us. Yeah. Mm. Man. That's a lot of movies that, you go yo. back and like it's not that great. It's it's not that great. Literally, yeah, I mean, you know, you know, we had so many options. That's I think a lot of people forget that too. It's like I didn't purposely say fuck goofy. I was just like, yo, I had so many mm -hmm. pieces of content to watch as a kid that were cartoon properties, live action properties. Like, I'm gonna throw this name out. WMAC Masters. What is, that is that a is that a is that a mac and cheese brand? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you emphasize the mac and mac and cheese so eloquently. Mac and cheese, <laughs> but uh, mac and cheese brand. <laughs> is that a, you're like white people to say, "Hey, who's that baby mama?" It's like we emphasize baby the mama, mama and not the baby. <laughs> hey, what white people say that Ew. shit? That's his baby mama. We're like, "Hey, that's his baby mama." That's how we say I just that. So it's stuck out the way it's sticking out of my brain. It's, 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 it's is that a brand of mac and brand. cheese? The, the, the mac and cheese doesn't even look delicious on the box. It's on the floor. They took a picture. The mac and cheese, bro. I've never. <laughs> you know they always add extra shit on the cereal boxes. They have little hot dog snippets on this box on the on the on the cover art. What of the mac and cheese? Um, WMAC Masters. Okay, so there was a martial arts boom in the '90s, as we all remember. That's how we got Power Rangers. That's how you start seeing the Ninja Turtles movie live action. Um. You saw Kung Fu, the legend continue. Like there was everything was martial arts based in the 90s, especially from like 91 until maybe 97. And WMAC Masters was like gladiators, except they did battle. And this was before Mortal Kombat came out. So when Mortal Kombat, the game, then the movie came out, the first person, remember the dude with the locks? They got his uh, his soul um, taken by Shang Tsung. Yeah, he was a WC uh, WMAC master. It was produced by uh, Bruce Lee's daughter Shannon Lee. <laughs> what? This was a local Detroit thing. That no, it was not. It was worldwide. <laughs> no, because I because I I do remember the dude from Mortal Kombat that got himself like that. He was on something previous, and then also was an American Gladiators as well. Yeah, because they did. Because I I thought I heard I thought that that stuff did sound familiar. Because they do mention that WMAC masters. Google it. Trust me. <laughs> Okay. I think Deion's yeah. right. I think it might have been local. Did the weather come on after that joint? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they also told us what brand of mac and cheese that we should get after we finish watching the show. Now, if you was gonna say a daytime soap, you might have been right though. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely. Yeah, yeah. But that also back to wrestling. That's what it is. It's a male soap opera, bro. Yeah. Just like football is, because women love the story. And I say this because my wife Tangerine <clears throat> literally said that's why she got into wrestling because she saw that there was a story involved much like when women watch sports they're like well what's the story here oh well these guys have been rivals for the past 20 years and this quarterback this is his last game so if he doesn't win a, a ring here he has to retire without a ring now you're getting the story involved and that's all any good sport is he just hit his wife in an elevator and then came back to this game that's oh brody yeah we're not going to talk about that part of the soap opera oh man ray lewis oh Ray Lewis Lewis ran someone over. You know what? You know what's funny about Brody? See WMAC Masters. That's I've, so never popular, bro. I've never seen it before. I'm sorry. I mean, you still are a little bit older, so it's like sometimes you weren't interested in the things that we're into, and that's yeah. fine. <laughs> I didn't know about Silverhawks, but people who are a little older be keep bringing up Silverhawks. I didn't know what the fuck that was. I had Silverhawks VHS. I had all old movies I did not. I had one episode oh, of the Ewok Star Wars cartoon. <laughs> I was like, why do I have to? The Ewok movies were weirder. The Ewok movies were super weird. I'm yeah. shocked Brody doesn't know about WMC Masters. We're the same age. So it's like, bro, you left me out on the fucking bridge over here. <laughs> Let me look it up. I knew DI wasn't going to know, but nigga, you, what the fuck? We were in school WMC the exact same Masters? time. You remember what? Mask, which was an, ac an acronym? Yes. What was it? It was a cartoon. I can't remember what Mask stood for, though. 
Yeah, it was like I don't know, it was like machines against you know, whatever, but they their helmets was like the Power Rangers thing. So you put yep. the helmet on and they, and their cars come out of nowhere and then they they that's like the key to their cars. Oh, all, the, all this shit was the same stuff. It was like it's like Mexican food. It's all the <laughs> same ingredients and it was just made into different little shows with different little <laughs> shows. One nigga made tacos yeah. with his, another nigga <laughs> made <laughs> lasagna. Yeah. It was always either five people with different machines. Right, one right. Machine. Voltron, Power Rangers, Thundercats. It was always five of them that had like yeah. ultimate powers. You know, you always think about the, their pieces too when they come together as a bigger thing. So why is no one done a skit like where one person's like, "Yo, why, why do I gotta be the dick, man? Why do I got? Why is my part?" <laughs> you just dangling yeah. like. Yeah, who was telling me as the ass? So Someone's the head and the torso and the arms and the legs, and one dude's just like, yo, man, why I gotta be the balls, man? Like, why? And honestly, I mean, what are you controlling? Like, I mean, if because I, I kind of feel like if you're the foot, how are you can controlling it? It's like you can't, y'all both the left and right can't kick at the same time. How are you can you can the only that? one that made sense was uh uh Pacific Rim. Mm -hmm. I was like, that was the only one that yeah. made them type of big yeah. droids make sense as to how you control them. But yeah, when you had five connected, one, right? yeah, yeah, it was connected to them, and so like they were in unison when they moved. Yeah, one half right. had the left, one half had the right. And yeah. I did wish like Power Rangers explained that a little bit more. But hit so and CT, you the expert, so correct me if I'm wrong. They would just do this and the thing. But, yeah. Was the Red Ranger controlling the machine? And the rest of them control like the weapons and stuff. How did this go? Mainly, so when you look at the uh, original Megazord, you got the Red Ranger front and center. Everybody's Zord controlled something, right? So somebody had an arm, somebody had a leg, somebody had uh, weapons, somebody had the head, like all of that stuff. Red Ranger more so was the person who was delegating. All right, let's throw a punch. Bam, I got you because I'm over here on the left side. Let's throw another punch. Bam, bam. And also, <clears throat> they weren't as specific in the 90s as they would be now about throwing certain moves. So it's like we just assumed that one person was controlling everything and another person controlled weapons and they could divert power. But these are all just wild lines that are being thrown. Nobody's doing anything. They're just all standing there watching this battle. And then I learned this. This is how corrupted I was by Power Rangers. Am. <clears throat> I was um, moderating a Power Rangers panel at the last Power Morphicon in August. And I said to one of the Red Rangers, his name is uh, Steve Cardenas. I remember saying to him solo, like on the side, I was like, hey, man, where was the Megazord? Like, how did y'all, where was that room at? He was like, I don't know. I was like, what are you talking about? You don't know. Y'all were in the Megazord. He said, bro, I was never in the Megazord. I was like, dude. Listen, I get it. It's a TV show. You're acting. But I'm saying, where did y'all shoot the Megazord scenes? He said, hey, man. <laughs> that wasn't me. That Those were the, the Asian actors. That was uh, stock footage. I was like, oh, you mean y'all never shot anything in a Megazord? So then I went to Walter Jones. And I was like, hey, man, let me ask you this. Was the command center the exact same set? has uh rita's dimension and he was like oh yeah it was and i was like i knew it <laughs> see i just blew your mind they just it was the same set bro yeah they just moved because if you look at the command center set everything is just like slideable so like you move everything out of the way put some smoke on the ground and then now you got the command center is now Rita repulses evil lair where they uh they trap you in a dark dimension that you got to escape from with Goldar. You see Zordon in the back of Rita's joint. You still see it. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you look at the walls, they look the same. And I remember looking at that as a kid and being like, this looks just like the command center, yeah, but is the it? Same color. It was same. The same exact wow. And you already know that they weren't balling out of control with bread until they start selling them toys. So they had to make ends meet. They so they were like, "All right, let's move this out yeah. the way. This is the evil dimension. Add some smoke." It's it's a when they get to, when they turn to the Zoids and the monsters. All you see the map like this, the the monsters. Nah. You can nah. easily just kind of dub the for each language. When you see like Godar, like oh the Godard. mouth like that. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Because wasn't the Zords uh, dressed up? Like, wouldn't their people actually dressed up as them fighting? Yeah. So here's the. This is how they would do it. Um, when the when the um 
the Megazord were people in suits. I didn't realize it, but that that's a testament to the stunt performers and how their movements were because 90% of the movements made you believe this was an actual robot. Uh, I remember a couple times I started seeing movements where I was like, that looks really fluid. And that's when <laughs> you're like, oh, somebody's in there. But when they shot those scenes with the Megazord and uh, the monsters being big, they did a camera trick that I learned that I started doing in my sketches early on, which was shooting underneath makes everything bigger. Yeah. And then, you know, you would have like a tree in a far distance of the camera, but it's really a tree like right here. But the way you're shooting, it looks far away. And I was like, wow. So Power Rangers low-key taught me how to be a filmmaker. Bro. God, Godzilla did that for me. That's how I was able to figure it out about the Megazords. I was like, oh, the buildings. I was like, they built the buildings, had them in a room. Because mm -hmm. as soon as they fall, that's what I was like. Yeah, right on. Build, that building didn't blow up. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> the buildings was flimsy, too, <laughs> boy. You'd be like, man. Yeah. But also, too, some people inside these buildings. I didn't know that about uh, what it was Independence Day. I didn't know like the blowing up the White House and that bit and the uh, the, the I was gonna say the Metal Bank, <laughs> uh, but the the big bank here in uh, downtown. I didn't know those were toys. Oh yeah, yeah, just like Star Wars and Star Trek. So yeah. when they showed the Star Trek, that fucked me up. When I saw Star Trek and they showed um, the ship being moved in and how they shot it, like on wires and everything. And then they show space. And I was like, oh, I guess that would make sense. Because me as a kid, I was like, how are they shooting the TV show in space? Like, that's how, because, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. computers weren't a real thing like that yeah, to us yeah. yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. That's what made me so mad at the little Blue Ranger from Turbo when he got to go. Because I thought the same shit. I said, man, how the fuck this kid gets to go and I can't go? First of all, shout out. Space. Shout out to Blake, bro. Shout out to Blake Foster, man. Blake Foster is genuinely a friend of mine. He played the Blue Ranger of Power Rangers Turbo. And I, we've talked about this several times. He knows it. Kids hated him. And the reason kids hated him had nothing to do with him. It had everything to do with you're the kid that gets to live our dream. And yeah. that's why we hated him. Because mm -hmm. before him, we knew we all wanted to be Power Rangers, but we didn't think that we could be Power Rangers. And they made a kid our age a Power Ranger. And I was like, oh, I hate this guy. Yep. I'm Couldn't jealous. Stand Couldn't stand him. Couldn't stand him. Anything he did, I was like, hey, fuck you. I remember it. I felt that mm -hmm. way. And I made it even, and I was even more mad at him. I was like, so you're not going to take your helmet off and see what you look like as an adult? I shit. thought that same thing. Like, I was like, I'm going to see him. He's not going to do nothing. Nothing. It was probably an Asian man underneath that helmet. You understand me? <laughs> but. <laughs> But Blake handled it with stride. His his glow up is crazy. He's actually um, a mixed martial artist. He's super yoked up, super ripped up in shape. Um, just won a fight against another former Ranger. Uh, well, I don't know if this is getting too inside baseball. But he fought um, the guy who played young Rocky on Power Rangers. They had an actual MMA fight, and uh, Blake won. And it was crazy because it was like Ranger versus Ranger and all of that. But yeah, Man. let's let's talk about more stuff that Dion could get involved in. Anybody got any uh <laughs> randomly sized knit hats that y'all want to discuss? I got a couple blue ones, I got a red, a green one. We could we could talk about the reboots of Home Alone that he about to start. <laughs> Think about to walk into eight movie traps with his hat face. Just him now. Just him now. There's like we're gonna combine the two. Uh, height. We got it. Hat and height. He gonna get to see where they burn. They <laughs> burn the back of his head. <laughs> Dion, can you do a handstand into a toilet? You got that, right? <laughs> you got that, right, Dion? I realized that that Power Ranger shit was boring and then tried to insult me because I wasn't paying attention. Got it, got it. Nah, we just saw that you weren't paying attention. It's definitely what boring. You're trying to do some crowd work to keep your content up. To keep <laughs> your content up. We're losing, we're losing viewership. Hey, hey, look at Dion. He got a red hat on. Listen. And he has single mother glasses on, like he's reading <laughs> fucking books in the fifties. But that's neither here nor there. Childish ass. Y'all didn't laugh my thick <laughs> band. You <laughs> literally started it. We were all good, and Dion came out of nowhere and was like, "Hey, y'all, y'all want to get exactly?" You said scrolled up chin, and the first thing I thought about was you riding a Chevy in the fifties with those glasses, telling <laughs> your kids they better not smoke cigarettes. That's the first thing I thought. You took your glasses <laughs> off and insulted my glasses. Yeah, because I knew I knew you were about to take a shot of these. <laughs> <laughs> they all removed their glasses. We'll be too. 
Hey, hey, D.I. When I, as soon as I was setting it up in my mind, I was like, uh, yeah. So, yeah, nigga, that's all I was <laughs> he, he definitely took them off for the roast. He's like, you know what? What we ain't going to do is uh, be a hypocrite. Yeah, I'm done with him. Man. Oh, shit. <laughs> what we ain't going to do is call the kettle black. Right he said, Will took his off for moral support, yo. He said, like, I'm going to go with CT's joke. I don't even know what he's about to say, but it's hey. like glasses oriented. Listen. I got a pile of glasses over there, but this is the closest, and I knew these are some the bullshit. Bile? So, I... <laughs> what are you like? Damn, I'm, I'm writer's block. Just, ah. yeah. <laughs> I said, no, I'm no, about no, to no, hit no. this man's glasses. I hate, I ain't got no room to talk. Let me take these. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen that, yo. <laughs> That's like a yo. nigga that like is about to call another nigga fat and sucks his stomach in before the road. Like, <laughs> <"Nigga, laughs> I got real close to this camera. Like, look at this fat ass nigga right here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nigga start doing a high angle. See, this makes you look thinner. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, every time I watch roast me, I'll see like a big dude in there calling another nigga big, and I'm like, bro, y'all are out of control. Hey yo, hey, that's the funniest shit in like real time to hear. It was crazy. It's yeah. hilarious, bro. Every time they recycle like, the, the punchline that they heard on them. So I'm gonna yeah. definitely use this on another fat nigga. <laughs> Dude, I remember this is how you know somebody's losing a roast battle. Whenever you hear just like Dion said, whenever you hear a motherfucker. Recycle the joke that they've said before. I heard, I heard one dude, and I remember when he came up with this. This motherfucker called another fat dude chocolate hip cookies, and I said, I looked at the TV. I said, Come on, man! I remember when you learned that one. You get cooked so bad that you want to bring that shit to this man. Like that hurt me two weeks ago. Man, I'm spreading this. I'm spreading my hurt. Oh my god. This man, but yo, let's go ahead and jump into uh, our main topic, man. And um, we talking about Shazam. Uh, for those that don't know, the sequel to Shazam came out. Shazam 2 Fury of the Gods was released. It was, uh, of course, starring um, Shazam because I don't know the dude's real name, I think it's Zach Zachary Levi. That guy, um, <laughs> Helen Mirren was also in it while she was shooting Fast and the Furious next to the set. <laughs> Um, Lucy Lou just decided she wanted to be an actress again. And oh, was, oh man, Shazam! Here I am. Um, here I am. But they they were rocking like a hurricane, but not in the way that they wanted. Um, the movie did not do so well. It was definitely uh, received negatively by uh, critics and audience members and actors and producers, directors, investors. Um, it did not go well. Did not go well. Um, box office is trash too. Box office did uh, maybe did the minimum. Maybe they might have made their money back. Well, that's not bad, right? Close, Here's but close to it. As as long as it's been out, that's bad. So, peep, if I may, <clears throat> the thing that nobody's talking about. First of all, I I had the the honor and pleasure. I had the opportunity to go see this film with. My good brother, Dion Lack, goddamn Will Ferrell, we were in there. Now, they'll be the first to tell you. I, my feelings were hurt when I got done watching that movie because I expected it to at least be as good as part one. And here's the thing. Let's go even back to part one. The reason this movie didn't do well, I read a lot of the Rotten Tomato reviews. I've seen a lot of people talk about it online. I've seen Zachary and Levi go on his live and talk about why he think it didn't work and uh the rock talking about <laughs> <laughs> this is me is right good. at the end of the movie guys Dang. yeah so here's the thing that nobody's talking about them kids was too fucking old bro <laughs> okay the kid who played billy batson if you are a dc fan like i'm a dc fan you know Billy Batson is eight or nine years old, period. If you would have cast an eight or nine-year-old kid in the first Shazam, we wouldn't be in this mess right now because then everybody around him would have been eight or nine years old. But you cast this kid who looked 16 when he was probably 18 for the first one and now come to the next movie, he's literally an adult 
Yeah. And it just makes no sense for him to turn into an even older Zachary Le Levi. So <laughs> yoked up too. Super yoked up, 18-year-old kid. And I'm like, come on, man. So they had to push the storyline. The, the things that made this movie not work, Helen Murin, Lucy Liu are both amazing actresses. Oh my God, I love their work. However, this movie did not seem like they were supposed to be in it together. This movie seemed like the casting director told the producer, guess what? <laughs> I got Helen Murin. And then the director was like, I got Lucy Liu. And they were like, ah, <laughs> shit. Uh, fuck it. Let's put them both in there. That's what that movie felt like. And then for the movie to begin, and these two women are gods and they're sisters, there was no need for them to randomly pop into a museum instead of showing us where they came from. Then we get into, like I said, the kids were too old. The first movie's magic was with Zachary Levi Shazam and the kid on the crutches. Yeah, It was their chemistry. Yeah, This movie did not show that chemistry. This movie showed Shazam interacting with the other God actors. First of all, shout out to Megan Good. Megan Good is the greatest thing to happen to this movie because yeah. she and her child counterpart were perfectly meshed. I had no trouble believing that these two were the exact same character throughout the entire movie. She acted like a kid. Uh, Zachary Levi is not bad at all. He's genuinely like a kid. Every time you see him, even in interviews, this youthful energy. But in this movie, when there are only two actors that are acting like their children counterparts, and the children counterpart isn't even acting like that, that's the problem. Zachary Levi was still acting like the kid, and he was doing perfect if Billy Batson was nine. But the Billy Batson in this movie was acting extremely mature and adult every time. And very right. emo. And right. very emo. Right. Yeah. And it didn't work, it didn't match. So then when you look at um all the other actors, everybody was just too cool for school. Yeah. And it was just it was a cluster of looking at just the acting. I haven't even gotten into the plot, and I'll leave it to you guys now. None um, of them, none of none of the older, none of the children version were acting that immature as an adult. Like as yeah. soon as they got shazammed, they immediately got on the spectrum. They immediately started to act like Something was wrong with them. Like they, they didn't, they didn't actually it earn these powers. Like, like you said, the boy version of Billy Batson was super cool. He was, he was talking to people normal. And as soon as he came to Shazam, hey, hey, we got to do blah blah blah. Like you don't even talk the same no more. Right. <laughs> yeah. And also, he, like I said, Zachary Levi did great because he's going off of what Billy Batson should be instead yeah. of what this actor was. Go ahead, Will. I'm sorry. Also, I just didn't like that. They could have spun this movie showing the team get acclimated. Like, I don't like that they kind of skipped that part of like, oh, y'all already know tactics on how to save each other. Like, no, like I didn't get to see these kids be kids with these powers. Like, you telling me this little black girl is can say Shazam at any time, turn into the superhero and not go and save every kitten that she see? Like, I didn't see no impulse <laughs> from any of them as teenagers, even like, like even Mary, like. Even a recap of like, oh, so this is what we've we, what we been up to type of thing. You know what I mean? So yeah, like, give us the recap. Yeah. But when I, I'll give you something that I had this conversation a day after I saw the movie with you guys with uh, BT. And he's like, so let me get this straight. Everybody on the team has the exact same powers as Zachary Levi Shazam. And I said, in this movie, yes. So he was like, so it's basically overkill. When you show me five other people that have the exact same powers as the main oh. guy. Well, no, I thought that wasn't true. I thought only him and the guy with the crutches, both of them all had the same powers. I thought each, the rest of them didn't because all of them didn't have super speed. Only Megan Good's character did, right? Every, so yeah, remember, Shazam also has super speed. Yeah. Oh, so camp, he just so everybody used. had the exact same powers. And okay. that's a problem because the conversation went like, Okay, I can almost get behind this if you're telling me every single one of them has a different power. One of them can run fast. Another one can just appear somewhere. Another one um, can maybe swim fast, or another one. All of them can... have the power of the of the sh the acronym of Shazam. It'd be dope if they had that. But that's another thing. When we got to the acronym of what each one had, they didn't do a great job of showing us what each person had. Mm -hmm. solely right because yeah. you're showing all five shazam members fly and it's like i don't here's the thing the reason superman works is because it's superman 
when That's they true. show the other Kryptonians come to Earth, like when you look at Superman one, they show other Kryptonians come to Earth. These people work because they're not Superman. They all have his heart and they're evil and they all have the same weakness. All right, cool. Now we get the, rid of these guys. But if you show me 10 Superman wearing the same costume, it's yeah. like, all right, well, what makes Clark Kent special? Yeah, and that's then, what happened with Shazam. And then I think you did like even like piggybacking what Dion said, the acronym of Shazam. Like you lost the element of like creating individual journeys for all of these characters. Like, let's say for, for one, he is like uh uh Zachary Levi's character is following like the truth of Solomon, like he was mm -hmm. supposed to be in the movie. And then let's say um for uh Mary Marvel, hers is like you know, like following <laughs> Athena and stuff like that. But it's like, yo, y'all have this whole layer that has all this history that y'all didn't allow them to connect to to figure out and understand where their powers came from, who they were from, and then too, like even John uh uh Jamin Hansu's character, it's like this would have been the perfect time for him to have conversations with these kids, connecting these people with the with the people he knew. You knew these people before mm -hmm. their powers were transferred into that staff and you gave them away. And y'all missed that and decided to dress him like he was go, finna go sing a kiss from a rose tour. <laughs> <laughs> that movie also, man, let me tell you how awkward I feel now because I now, I'd be remembering at the latest time that Brody be in the comic book movies and I never even thought to invite him to that movie. So that's my bad, Brody. But also, you didn't miss you're, you're good. I watched the I I, I honestly it, on my own merit did not give three or four to five to six to twelve fucks to see Shazam. I didn't give a damn about Shazam. I was like, if yeah. Shaquille O'Neal ain't in it, then I don't want to see it. <laughs> that ain't hilarious. Sinbad or Shaquille O'Neal, uh, Nelson Mandela effect, Shazam, Kazam, thank, whatever it is. Thank you, Brody, because this is what I've been waiting for. Because uh, this, this, right? this is this is definitely the clip I want to put out. Shaq, we want Kazam too. We need it. Okay. You know, if you're doing all these damn general commercials and the know, and the and the Papa John's, give us Kazam too, bro. Yeah, that's oh, into yeah, okay. Give us that, like, yo, it could be old boy's kid. You are a gin now, and you need his help to be able to stay alive, and you got to be able to grant some wishes. That's all we need. We don't need no more rap. We don't know. We don't need uh, another steel movie. Uh, uh, what? Steel hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, we don't need. A I need a steel too. I need. What you call it? Steel too. here. That's hilarious. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I listen, man. People underestimate of how popular and big of an impact Shaq has made on entertainment, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. forget all the millions that he's made in his in his companies. Forget all the championships. Shaq had a run. He had a video game. Yeah, Shaq. Multiple. Food. I yeah. had it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Kazam. Steel. I wanted to see it all because it's Shaq. Yeah. When you meet Shaq in person, he's so massive. You yeah. feel like you are an ant. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people notice he he went he went gold three albums. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This he man had five albums. albums. He went gold. <laughs> and he was a dominant player at the time. This thing was out of control. Bro, That's talent. Did. You can't That's be talent. contained when you got that much talent, bro. <laughs> yeah. That man did so. That man did so much. Like I like, that, oh, bro. We need Who's Shazam. We need. We need. We need Kazam too. Kazam um, too, bro. And I would mm -hmm. like to be in it. I don't want to star in it, but I want to be in it. <laughs> I just want Ray J's part in Steel too, because I wanted his part in Steel one. So if we could I, get cracking I, on that, I just want to be one of the dudes that poke out the window. Hey, you kids, <laughs> shut that down. Shut that down. That's all. That's all I want. Just be like, hey, yeah, I was, I was a part. That's of what always makes me laugh about Donnell's role in a uh, Spider Man too. Yeah, because you know? his line is literally, "Yo, he just took that guy's pizza." You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got TV Chris. You got IMDb for that. That's I all you need. Yeah. You a flip? <laughs> yeah, dude. And that flip dude was hilarious. Though. He's in multiple though, so that's dude, dope. Flip. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like that's that's what you got out of. It. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, speaking of which, now we got now we can move into my hear me out. Okay, it ain't a fool hear me out, mm -hmm. but something is very suspicious about this dual flip guy. He been popping up in, in more than one of these movies now, and I'm starting to be curious as what part he could be playing in this because he's always around these superheroes when this right. stuff happened. He's a scroll. 
Or could he be one of the people for the Watcher? Ooh, well, no, because the Watcher doesn't interact. <clears throat> now, what's, what's the, now, what's the ones with the uh, the, the not not him, but the other ones he has with him with the big heads? Because remember, we they had one clip where Stan Lee was talking to them, and they were walking off, and he was like, "Hey, where y'all going?" And they had big heads, they had the glowing eyes, and they had the the the, uh, the, the robes. robes. Yeah, and they were walking off. Like, who are those people? I don't know their names. Okay, could he maybe like an agent for them or something like that? Kind of how like they were pointing at like with Stan Lee. Hmm. Or it might be a scroll. I think the easy thing might be a scroll. Like we said, we know not to jump too far into a scroll might be the best thing. Because every time we jump, bro, we be coming up with incredible endings and things for these films. And then when we see the film, they be like, nope, it's just a plant. And you're like, all right. Yeah, yeah man. But uh, but yeah, back to this um Disney Channel original movie that got a bigger budget uh, in Shazam. Um, not digging that they didn't even use one of their villains. From the actual comic book, Helen Mirren's exactly. character and Lucy Liu were made up to put in here, and I'm just like, they were made up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and wow. it's, a, it's a testament to uh, this is what Zachary Levi said online. He first of all he reposted a story where a person said that The Rock had something to do with the post credit scene, and he stalled. Uh, he was the reason that we couldn't get Shazam. Um, the scene was supposed to be Hawkman and Cyclone recruiting Shazam to go into the Justice Society. And The Rock wouldn't sign off on the characters. And that Sh Black Adam was supposed to be the cameo in Shazam as well. And Shazam was supposed to be a cameo in Black Adam. But instead of the Superman, I think they could have done them both. And it still would have got us the impact that we wanted. You could have showed this is the solution. You show both of them, right? Superman shows up and talks to Black Adam. They have their back and forth. And then right in the middle of their conversation, Shazam pops up. And he's like, oh, dude, you beat me here. Bam, it ends. Simple could, as that. You, you, could even, you could even flip it, too, and stuff like that to the point where, like, he meets him and he starts to do, like, the little funny banter. And then that same, in that same thing, that drone pops up. And it's like, yo, who, oh, are you Amanda Wallace? It's like, yes. And I've brought you some backup just in case. And, and how you know how she says, and then, then here comes Superman. And then you just pan out those three right there looking at each other, and it goes ends it. That's the shot. It's like that would have been an easy fix. So Zachary Levi reposted that, and then he goes live the next day to talk about why he didn't think the film did well because everybody worked so hard on it. And I do shout out all those people who worked hard on the film. However, just because you work hard on something, if it doesn't connect with an audience, and this is what I'll say. When we were in that theater, I realized I wasn't the audience. We were in the theater, and I heard those kids reacting, oh, man, that's so cool, and oh, and they laughed at certain things. I was like, oh, I'm not the audience. This is a kid's movie. That's yeah. how I feel about wrestling. <clears throat> Wow, that's how I feel about your hat. I realize that I'm not the audience. This is a kid's activity, and you have a child's hat on that was not the audience for it, but you put it on anyway, and that's the result. Here's my question: What made you think you could pull off clear glasses? What part of your confidence was like, hey yo, <laughs> hey yo? <laughs> I got the face for these frames, bro. I don't, I don't see what's the problem with my glasses, man. Keep talking. And that's fine. It's fine. I just wanted to know what your thought process was. Let's let's hear what you got. That's just a premise. Keep going. What's wrong? No, 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 no. I it was it was a question. I said, what made you think you could pull off clear frames? Was it like gonna get LASIK just to keep this joke going? <laughs> Ain't never gonna wear glasses again. <laughs> Did you get the time machine? Go to the seventies and go to a PTA meeting and say, "Oh man, she don't know how to rock those." When I when I get a hold of them, she don't know how to rock those. When I get a hold of them, he, he, was, wow, Miami, he was killing a lot of uh, gay black men at yeah. Gay clubs. He was showing them The Exorcist three, and then he said, "I need some glasses for this." Man, spot on, Brody. You know what? Those give. I just stole these from the lunch lady as she gave me my food vibes. Like those glasses are no, you cannot have extra peas. That's what these are. Those look like the ones that the woodsmen's wear when they craft and stuff. And they got the <laughs> other <laughs> They don't take those off. Yeah, they just put them on under. a table saw. Hey, you, you got the hat. You look like with the door ring and they walk in. You look up. 
No, he looks like the guys <laughs> in the that was you know, so have, accurate. Have you seen the uh, have you seen the whip it video? He looks like the guys in the whip it good. <laughs> Would be good. That's <laughs> inappropriate, bro. That's too far. That's too far. Look, I stayed far. out as long as I could, man. You can't just have you me up in here. Look, hey, here's the funny thing. See, D.I. just nod along with it because you're trying to defuse jokes, but they continue to come? No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I got them. I'll wait for my, my punchline. Oh, go ahead, brother. Yeah, no, I'll I'll, I'll wait for the right time. No, no, no. The right time is right now. Give it to us. No, no, what I you got? got? I, I have it in the chamber, and I'm okay. gonna pull it out. Where's the chamber? We wait for that Neon, bullet, man. Neon snipes have been good. I'll tell you. I'm not, come on, man. Oh, that's the. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no, that is too accurate. That you no, know no, that. it's too good. It's, good. Is that's that the guy with the rest of the color and everything. Bro, 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 bro. I like it. I like it. That's a good one, dog. Like yeah, the glasses and the hat. Come on, man. I give that, Brady. Brody. Oh my goodness. That's not bad. Yeah. And the glasses. Damn, I didn't even see the glasses. I only That's saw the hat. I was such accurate, a good man. reference. You, you have a great memory, bro. Damn, you do have a great memory. That is Dion Leck. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Ooh. So. What are we talking about? Y'all man, that's because <laughs> we just done? got an incredible visual. <laughs> and uh, Yeah. Y- y- y'all finish? We were we almost there. How childish <laughs> the damn wrestling is. Nigga, <laughs> y'all deflecting the fact that it's still childish. Y'all are children. <laughs> Look at you. You sad, moping with your arms folded. <laughs> Will over here covering up his titties with his hair. Wait, man. Hold on a minute, man. <laughs> hey, yo. No, now, wait a minute. Now, hey, wait hold a minute. on, man. Hold on. Hold on. Now, listen. Listen. Hey, hold on, I mean, man. I didn't bring your hips into this. Don't he you did bring not. my man into this, all right? You both know you both know that's some spots, but don't you do that. Hey Dion, you <laughs> wild. Now don't you make me pull out my sniper rifle. Get it with the <laughs> rifle, Will. That's that's what I imagine I'd be in a group with, with, with men. Y'all said fight, fight back, titties, nigga, fight, fight your back. hips. Fight back. <laughs> hey, never did I think I had to defend my man who was on my show. Like, ain't that shit. Roll to the back. Let's let's see what we got. Ooh, hey bro. man. Hey bro, edit that part out, Will. This is this is <laughs> this is crazy, yeah. man. I'd, I'd rather put the glasses back on and you go for that. You go, you gonna go for my sister this spot? What? That's crazy. Out the gate? You Dion, uh, you ain't shit for that because you know that brother says about that. He spoke to us before <laughs> and you said <laughs> that. Like, wow. Oh man, That's nothing no safe for this what? nigga. Roderick <laughs> lacking. This nigga's out of control, bro. Like it's just your hat, bro. I'm sorry. Nah, bro, bro. <laughs> you, you, you literally so said you brought the hat back. I don't even know what's wrong with my hat, man. Let me live, yo. Damn. Because you, you said wrestling was fake. I'm hiding yeah. a haircut, man. Come on. <laughs> Damn, D.I. Oh, you a cold man. piece, man. <laughs> nah, no, <nah>, look. That's <laughs> I draw the line there. <laughs> what, kind, what kind of haircut you holding? Huh? What kind of haircut you holding? Take the head off, Lack. It's bald. It's a fresh baldy. What's wrong? Well, it's not fresh. I cut it in Thursday. That nigga said I cut it. Uh, let me see. You don't lean. You <laughs> <It laughs> said cut it. Uh, I cut it. And nothing, nigga. It's a crispy baldy from my screen. I appreciate you, brother. And I appreciate your glasses doing like this because your head's so fat. <laughs> <laughs> it said. He <laughs> 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 said Spider Man Two. He's it's holding the train I back. Not in front of my kids. <laughs> That's good. If he planned that for you to do that, he did. Like, That's why it was brilliant. He, he wrote me in. Hey, hey. It was Sorry. incredible. That was he incredible. said, Not in front of my kids. That was incredible, nigga. Not in front of the pile of glasses. Don't, don't, not in front of the pile of glasses. That's. <laughs> I got nothing for you. That's incredible. Oh my god! Because the timing is like you literally did set me up for that. That's Yo, great. Then nigga, he took his hat man. off, knowing that we were like, "What? What are you talking about? Lean forward." Then nigga, no, I can't see. So I threw the glasses on, and that's what he wanted. It was like, "Yeah, Yo, come on, nigga, was, yeah, come on, nigga." That's, that's what it, it was. Great. That was wow. Wow. That was great, Dion. Like, you know what wasn't Spider-Man great? Though? Two references in this episode. That was amazing. 
Yeah. yeah. Just let me know when my door is finished, nigga, because I'm trying to get that done. No, no, you cut one right now. <laughs> let me know when my shit is ready to pick up. What's crazy, Will? <laughs> oh, man. How bad Shazam was. Yeah. <sighs> That's how crazy. Um, Story so also, when we talk about, there was a young lady who was, uh, I don't remember which character she was, but it's obvious she was recast. And every time she hit Shazam, she was the same actress in her Shazam and out of her Shazam. Oh, yeah. Mary Marvel. Um, it was yeah. so, yeah. So, uh, like I, uh, I explain, uh, told you, like during the theater, supposedly it's supposed to be because that's how the comic book character is, like how they had her at Young Justice. Mm -hmm. So supposedly it's supposed to be like she's still that same thing. She just gets powers, but it corrupts her though. Hmm. And, stuff. and say at one point they have it to where she can't even say Shazam anymore and stuff. Because I think like the new gods get a hold of her, and then eventually she joins like Apocalypse's army and stuff like that as one of his generals. Now Ooh. that would have made sense. Uh, I remember Ava Ava Duvernay was supposed to be uh, doing a new gods movie, and they scrapped it years ago. But these these are where I'm glad. James Gunn is giving us a clear cut through line of this is the story we want to tell. This is how it's going to be spread out over the next 10 years because a lot of the Snyder verse only made sense if every movie that they talked about came to fruition. Like when you talk about the new guys movie, you're talking about the Green Lantern Corps, like all of these things should have appeared before they did a Justice League movie, but we didn't get that. So now we got James Gunn and we know what we're going to get. So that would have been great to see Shazam deal with any form of new guys because you're touching on that by mm -hmm. talking about the ancient wizards and all of that anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like they just kind of like put Zeus and shit. Yeah. I feel like they just put Shazam in a box and just like you said, being in that theater with y'all, that's what made us realize this wasn't for us. Like when they had the part of like where uh, the, the girl who Megan Goods, uh, younger version is when she did the Skittles. And the yeah. taste of rainbow. I was like, "Yo, did y'all really just plug that in like that?" But two rows down, these kids are screaming, loving it, crazy, loving it. That they just said dude, they were screaming is, extremely loud. Like they were like, "Yo, where is the back of this beard on Dion?" That's what they were asking. Like when you oh look at God. Dion's beard, it's missing. So they're like, "Nigga, we see that you got the front and the sides, but where's the back of it? We need support to stand up." Let me say this. They they were also you, you got to understand the kids were probably eating Skittles in the theater, too. I was I'm, I'm sorry for disregarding what CT said, but I'm trying to say this for like two minutes. And then CT did his bit and then it didn't hit. And I was like, come on. Now. Well, you know why it didn't hit? Because you jumped in, villain mustache. So so then so then I said uh, so then I was thinking Shazam is like the Tiny Toon Adventures for for uh, for the Marvel Universe. It's the Teen Titans. You know what I'm saying? It's like the it's like it's kids entry point into the cinematic universe so you know what i mean so they so they don't want to leave them hanging like ct's collar so they like try to this is a v-neck shirt what are you talking about this is you know, <laughs> what is so ridiculous kids, thing gotta give kids something in the dc universe you know what i mean they got <laughs> bro they, you want us to do it first we go back because he's making a cleavage job homie show the cleavage job i mean there's no reason i should be able to see your penis from your v-neck nigga like no, i'm done okay. These here's what's happening, Will. This is exactly what's happening. I can't believe I didn't see this sooner. This nigga CT put his shirt on feet first. <laughs> play, play the play. Here's what it is. Will and I seem to be on the team, and it seems like Brody and Dion are on the team. So every time Brody says something, this nigga Dion laughs hard as fuck, like he's not in a children's porn set right now, Ooh. waiting for Brody to come <laughs> film his scenes. He's he gonna do a commentator. And then <laughs> You got Will and me that every time this nigga hits something, we're looking like. <laughs> so I see it. It's it's two on two. It's all good. If we had the fifth, then we're going to knock it out. Well, let's get to the root of the problem. This nigga Dion been acting sassy and saucy all straight. <laughs> it's sassy. I don't know what the initial thing is, but we can discuss it right is it, now. Is nigga. it because you weren't invited to the WrestleMania thing? Is, is that, that what it is? Because I'm only inviting real fans of WWE. Why is this nigga touching his titties? Though? Hey, come on, man. Just stay still. Yeah. Answer the question. Take that. Take that. I, I don't I don't, I don't. care. It feels like you care because your energy's been different ever since we popped in. It was like, hey, WrestleMania weekend. Brody, would you want to go? The, yeah, nobody I'm invited sorry. Brody. We talking to this nigga, <laughs> Will, and we talking to you. Brody ain't even watch wrestling. And he just said though he'd go. He just said he'd go. Who said he'd go? I think I'll, that's what Brody said. He said he'd go. I will, but I will, here's the thing. I would go just to film y'all. Y'all like this. 
Look at you trying to film niggas again. Backless beard. We're talking about real fans of WrestleMania. That's what the viewing party's for. That's it, man. Why we can't? Why we can't have joy, bro? Why we can't? Why? <laughs> no, nobody say nothing when y'all be waiting for the the NBA Finals to score their touchdowns and stuff like that. Oh, when so Le- right. LeBron finna take it to the goal line and get a uh, first down and stuff, we don't do nothing. We nah, don't LeBron nothing about to get first down. Okay, we don't do nothing to y'all. Wait a minute. First, do you, you even watch? Line up with them braids. 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 Back in 2008, you need a line up with them braids. If you R&B sing, you had to line up with them braids. Oh, Mario had a line up with them braids. Mario had a line up with them braids. Jaheem had a line up with them braids. Lloyd had a line up with them braids. JT had a line up with them braids. Brad Hammond. <laughs> you should join the crew, man. You got you got to join the crew, brother. Are you saying I don't have a lineup with my braids? <laughs> Dion, you don't even have a hairline, nigga. Yay! You figured it out all by yourself, CT. Yay! You're literally proving your point of what you said earlier about a nigga Yay! who's bad talking about I another bad there, nigga. CT, off the ropes. I'm going to tackle you. Yay! <laughs> Here's let me let me tell you something, man. The first I'll step in comedy you. is actually keeping it funny. You're making shit. Even the way you're going back and forth is like a kid talking to a nigga. These ain't even punchlines no more. I had to dummy down my jokes because y'all watch wrestling. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry. I could have got more intellect with it, but this nigga turned into a little brother, and now the jokes ain't even hitting no more. Like at first, like nigga. Oh my god, I couldn't be you couldn't be stopped. I was giving nothing but standing ovations. Now it's like everything you're saying is <laughs> man, look at your hit. <laughs> like, what's the energy? Just be funny like you were, man. It's getting sad now, nigga. Dion, you all right? Hey, maybe Dion, right? hey, yell Shazam and see what happens, Dion. <laughs> maybe maybe th- your jokes will grow up. <laughs> <laughs> That's come on, man. All right. That, I, I'm not, that was good. That, that was, come on, man. We. <laughs> that, 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 was that, was that was a great. Come one. on, man. Great. We ain't even do that, brother. Yo. Oh my god. Now it's just a turn to a fatal four way. It ain't even. Yeah. Two. Nobody because here's the thing. Now it's a fatal four way. Nobody wins because it's like everybody's gonna be like holding out on something if it's genuinely funny because it's like, nah, this nigga can't get the W. Or this nigga can't get the W. Um, it's like I'm done. I'm done. Well, I'm not gonna hit the punchline. Listen, man. Look before 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 we close out, man. We got one more thing that we're gonna discuss, man. Just because of the fact that we we all agree that Shazam was disappointing. It was I want to know. Yeah. So I wanted to know from y'all. Uh, we we jumping into the top tier now. What would be y'all top three most disappointing movies? You know, like Dion losing his hairline at a young age. That See, man, good. look, no, man, we come on, man, no more, bro. Because if you didn't think I'm about to throw something after that titty shit, <laughs> hey, look, we're not getting anywhere, man. Hey, one might... more on the table. I have one more. I'm gonna I'm host of this now. <laughs> you thought in, you was gonna say that titty shit on my channel. <laughs> Oh my show! This podcast yeah. gonna be all choppy, and all will gonna be killing me. <laughs> <laughs> all will punchlines gonna be hitting like back to back. <laughs> nah, I always keep my niggas. Y'all had some fire in this shit today. This shit is great. But yeah, man, top top three movies that disappointed y'all after watching it. Like y'all y'all went in and and that same face that 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 CT made. This what three movies made you feel like this after watching? Hmm. Um, these are comic book movies or just movies? Any movie, just any movie in general. Yeah, yeah. Um, the cleaner was Cedric the Entertainer. I had to leave <laughs> that one 28 weeks later, I think it was because remember, they had 28 days later, yeah, and 28 weeks later. I walked out 15 minutes in. I've only walked out of th- three movies in my life, or two movies, those are the two movies, and then the third outside of Shazam 2 would have been. Mm. Damn, what's a really bad movie that I saw? Oh, I got the hookup too. Uh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that was a that was a bad one. Had people's in that movie too, man. 
I know. And it was hard to sit through, boy. Yeah. See, I can talk about, like, I guess movies like that I had higher expectations for. Because, I mean, there's so many fucking bad movies that it's hard to really even navigate that. But I think, like, Alien vs. Predator 2 was some, some supreme trash. Because yeah. I had so much expectation for the Alien franchise. That uh, Then as far, then uh, when we go to Star Wars, I'd say, um, I'd say Solo pissed me off. Mm. When, when when they asked him his name and he said he said you're by yourself boy yeah so I guess you're solo I was like <laughs> just leave it ambiguous don't tell us his name is solo because he was rolling by himself and that's that, that, that disgusted me <clears throat> disgusted horrible. horrible and then third uh uh is a uh, big black booties eleven that one was just like one of the worst <laughs> why did you go see it. Um, it wasn't a theater screening. It was literally a DVD. <laughs> what you go see? <laughs> he said it like it was a theater full of people <laughs> watching it all at once. Where's everybody's parents at? Oh man, um, it's not because the movie I, they got arrested. Now I'm playing. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna say House Party, the, the new one that came out. I knew it was gonna be some bullshit. <laughs> it, whoo. Um, I didn't. I didn't watch it to go disappoint myself. I was just like, ah, because comparing the two, it's just like, ooh, yeah. no. no it just wasn't movie. a great movie. It was a bunch of sketches. That's what I said. It's a long. It's it was Instagram's longest uh, reel. Right. That's funny. They gave them the the, the ninety minute. Re- you could do fifteen <laughs> seconds. <laughs> ninety minute <Yeah>. reel. <laughs> um. How high to? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Here's the thing. The problem is these sequels and these reboots of these movies as opposed to reimagining. Like um, the only thing that I've seen be good is because they flip genres and that's Bel Air. I haven't seen season two, but season one, we took Fresh Prince, which was a comedy that had a couple dramatic moments and made Bel Air, which is a straight up drama. And you're like, why don't they make Full House that version? You know what I'm saying? They call it the Tanners. And the first episode, the mom dies in a tragic car accident. Like it's it's gruesome. You know what I'm saying? The dad's trying to get over that while, you know, raising his three girls. DJ struggling with her sexuality. Stephanie's a little thought. Michelle wow. is just this is, is learning from her older sisters. You know, comic this. doesn't even have to be a dog. It's just like <clears throat> some nigga that lives there. You feel me? Like it's <laughs> like he's helping I, pay rent. Jesse and clearly Joey. Like yeah, his his the un- uncle Joey, uncle Jesse. We, we come yeah. on, man. Yeah. I'd watch it. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Just well, how he can- pitched it. I'm the down. Canters, right? It's it's I'm it's sure. tragic, bro. Yo, come to the find premise, out. The premise of Bel Air worked because of. The, the theme song like that is a a, a a terrifying way to have to flee the city <laughs> it was like yeah i mean but all of, but all of that stuff could be full well, house has a great theme song yeah and it all could be flipped into kind of like that like even even like family matters the struggling of a black police cop in chicago mm-hmm. and have to deal with like his kids and everything like that and what they got to go through and an alienated neighbor whose parents aren't there and trying to figure out, wow. like, oh, yeah, because we didn't really see who has who movie. has a bipolar or some kind of schizophrenic multiple personality disorder. Yeah. He's like, sometimes I'm Stefan, sometimes I'm Steve mm-hmm. Urkel. That they you know? don't, they they can't even really deal, know how to deal with, so they deal with it in a black parent kind of a way. Hell, it's keep the Judy thing, thing in where she started doing porn. Just keep that in there. She went upstairs <laughs> and started doing her OnlyFans, bro. It works. At, it just works. At it that works. age. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ew, no, no, not that no. age, but like she's an old, she's Jamie Foxworth <laughs> of today. She's <laughs> she's got an OnlyFans yeah. page upstairs in the Winslow home. Yeah, I think the, I think the issue with those is is that like how high two and a lot of those you're trying to pinpoint so much making it funny rather than just booking the people that's going to make this funny. Mm-hmm. Like Harlem Nights was funny because the people who were in it, the script yeah. that they gave and how they performed it is what made it such a classic. Coming to America, how yeah. they presented it in the script and how they presented it on screen is what made it hilarious. Now, y'all just going for the Seth Rogen jokes. Like y'all mm-hmm. trying to make it so obvious. And it's just like, yo, you don't need to do that. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody told me, and I, I had to think about it. They said Eddie Murphy wasn't funny in Coming to America. It was Arsenio Hall's movie. Of being the comedy, I was like, I didn't think about that. I was, I was thinking about because Eddie Murphy kind of played a straight role. You did a lot of the time, and you all know, that's what you're limiting it to him as 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 um what you call it, but not the barbershop and all the other. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Like, wow. Hakeem or Akeem was Hakeem, yeah. a straight laced character that mm-hmm. fish out of water was funny naturally. But mm-hmm. as far as like he did play the straight man as far as both of them. But yes, the characters that Eddie did, it was such a well balanced movie. Yeah, and I yeah. think that's the difference in uh part two. Akeem switched that and became uh the funny role because the things that were happening around him. So man, uh and just to throw my three out there, uh yeah, yeah. One, one of my most uh my three disappointing one was uh Spider-Man three. I don't like what Sam Raimi did to Venom. That just I that oh played. I'm thinking about the, the one that just came out. Okay, no, yeah, I hated I hated that. Every time I saw Venom on screen, I just heard doom 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 doom. And you know yeah. what I'm saying? The little 70s show guitar riff between scenes. It was just I couldn't I yeah. couldn't see him as a bad guy. Topher uh Grace. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I just could Yeah, that was Tom really Hardy, cool. fantastic choice, but very for great. Nah, no, no. Nah. Uh, what was one of the X Men 3? Uh, The Last Stand, just um, y'all already know how that went. And then, uh, first one and uh, Prometheus, I just didn't like where it went. Oh, I love Prometheus, bro. I love it, but it went nowhere. I was like, yo, y'all set this up to be something so dope. And you dropped the ball with the next one because you didn't even call it like Prometheus. It was Alien, and then yeah. it was just like, yeah, it was so disappointing. It just made that movie disappointing. Well, Covenant Prometheus was all, two or Michael one. Michael Fassbender was became so one. big, so they made the they made the movie re, uh, revolve around him more. Where they should yeah, have made do. it around the xenomorphs. You know, they made it really revolve around. And then what they did, the thing that they're really missing, what they're really really missing, because the timing would have been perfect. If you remember Blade Runner twenty forty nine just had just dropped and you know yeah. that's all in the same universe and they did they, they minimally connected those two they didn't really how they should have and I, that's what i thought they were opening up with prometheus to show how the blade runner universe is connected to the alien universe and then they're, they're, and the predator universe you know those universes are all connected how dog the um the technology the 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 androids is the technology from blade runner it's the same stuff it's the same technology for uh the droids go look that up Hmm. Hmm. Blade so Runner is connected. They be, they be spilling the, the same kind of like milky. Uh, yeah, dog. It's, it's like Blade Runner is like the, the start of them. Like that industry is getting into like making androids and everything. That's the beginning of the technology, which then becomes the 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 the, the androids that we know as Bishop and like aliens or alien yeah. even. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, it's the same creator, right? Uh, uh, I, I, uh what's his name? I think um, so. Ridley Scott, right? Ridley, Ridley Scott. Scott. Yeah, he made yeah, all of them. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're right because all of them are in the future anyway. Like Alien yeah. is in the future. Like it's Blade Runner is is a more is a more uh, is a closer future to us than Alien is. Like wait, hundreds of years out, but it yeah. just but it's still the same universe. Okay, dang, I did not know that. You see, we you learn something new every day, yeah, bro. Yeah. When you watch Blade Runner with that scope, it makes it makes it that even better because you can see yeah. how we get to like all these other frontiers. Yeah, no, I got, I got, yeah, now I definitely will, will want to watch it now. So, but uh. With that, man, let's go ahead and close this out, man. If any any final remarks before we do, man? This was a great episode. We got a lot yeah. of stuff covered. Love y'all, man. Um, hey, I'm, fuck I'm, you. I'm, 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 <laughs> love y'all. Uh, Dion, <laughs> he followed it up with a, a second. I love y'all. <laughs> I love hey, Dion, would you would you like to come see WrestleMania at my crib this weekend, man? Uh, no. Okay. I, I, I don't don't force this on me, man. Hey, I just figured that you felt like you were being left out, and I want to make sure that you did not I feel it. that way. It's either going to go really well, or it's going to be a bunch of CD saying, hey, "Hey, watch this part. Watch this part right here." Watch, I, well, look, I was Dion, so Dion, look. lost, man. I mean, if it ain't Hulk Hogan or Andre the Giant or Ultimate Warrior, I just I just tapped out. Let me tell you something. There. If it's Even Andre the baby. Giant or the Ultimate Warrior, <laughs> nigga, I'm not watching because these <laughs> niggas have been dead for a long time. <laughs> so you should oh, definitely be there if they if they wrestle. <laughs> We got a lot of stuff to talk about after that. <laughs> like you got back from the afterlife and you want to go back to wrestle? All right. The <laughs> fuck is on over there? <laughs> Andre the Giant? What? Andre the Giant. Man. They, they can recast these people. Recast. They don't recast. Did they have like three Ultimate Warriors? I mean, um, Undertakers? CT, you are up. I can't do this. He's blood Dion. pressure's on a thousand right now. Dog. He's I can't so do this with Dion. I can't do this with Dion. Right um, He's so ladies and guy. gentlemen, you can catch me every Tuesday and Thursday streaming on caffeine.tv slash CT is dope, where I it's an experience, guys. 
you gotta come. I can't even explain it to you. Come to Caffeine, follow my page. It's free. We have a great time there every time I stream. Um, if you are in the LA area, I'm not performing anywhere. This is WrestleMania weekend. I'm in the crib, baby. You understand me? And uh, yeah, thank you for having me, Will. We gotta we gotta get another fourth, man. Deuces, deuces done hung us out of the dry. Mm-hmm. But what I do appreciate about the deuces is he's not a comedian. So that is always a great fourth. Brody, I appreciate you coming in and jumping in. Um, I'll never do another episode with you again, but I'm glad that you're here. So the next time that I'm not here, you can probably take my place. But uh, love you, Brody, outside of that. Will, incredible. Dion Lack, so many funny hits today. It is, it is a bit. He said he did have to be the bird bank uh, at a certain time. So. Hey, it's, a, it's perfect timing. Yeah, yeah. Perfect okay. timing. Hey, Brody, you up next, man? Yeah, I'm a little. I'm a little stuck on the fact that CT said he would never do this with me again. Oh yeah, um, never again. I, I'm, I'm kind of trying to understand. I thought we were having a good time. Oh, we were. And then you took the side, and that's what you off the island with me, baby. <laughs> but I, I was, I was being diplomatic. I chose nah, everyone's side. Nah, ain't no diplomatic, man. It's either my side or you're against me. I've been like that since kindergarten, nigga. I remember well, Dion's barber chose his sideburns. So, like, I don't know why we're you said who? Dion's barber chose his sideburns. All right, nothing. All right, cool. He's not so here, he's so I can't even laugh at it. Yeah, yeah, he's watching on his phone. We know he's watching. He's watching. <laughs> he's watching. He's watching. Look, I w- I wouldn't say this behind his, you know, his back. Um, nonetheless, uh, you can follow me on all social media platforms at Brody the Joker, B-R-O-A-D-Y the Joker. Got a new podcast, Funny Fucks. It will be Tuesdays and Thursdays on Tastemaker Radio on the Dash Radio Network. Uh, myself and Nikki McElroy host uh, adult stars and comedians for some funny, steamy conversation. And if you are in the DMV area, Juneteenth, please pull up on me. I'm doing a live taping on Father's Day, uh, Juneteenth weekend at the Arlington Draft House. Light Skin, Dark Secrets, come support me. It'll be a live taping. Yes, Light Skin. Dark secrets. So come see it. Come support your boy at the DMV, guys. Um, is, it, is, it, is, is this a special? It's a special. I, I, I'm gonna watch that. Just decide. Decide alone. He got me. Just the title alone. Light skin, and dark thoughts. Ooh, that's a banger fucking title. What well, I said dark secrets, the... but you know, same thing. Oh, shit. What did I say? I said dark. Said what? Dark <clears throat> oh, Light sorry. Dark sorry about that. Dark, dark secrets, but it's the same idea. Hey man, that could be the that that could be the sequel, and you just cut CT in on you know <laughs> on the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Title, you know, <laughs> dark secrets. Yeah, dark thoughts is better because dark secrets. Well, unless you're gonna really tell secrets. I mean, isn't it more tantalizing that way? If you tell secrets, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. Okay. If are you, you get there and you say some shit that I don't think is dark, then I'm pissed. So are they also are they more of like you finna tell some dark secrets or you just have some dark thoughts? It's like oh shit, I did not know Brody thought like that. I yeah. think that I think that uh, dark secrets leaves a little bit more of a mystery of what the hell is he gonna say? You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Dark thoughts is like all right, we're we're like expecting you know dark thoughts, and that's the my first I mean, time I was abducted. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, <clears throat> the first time I hopped in that white van. Yeah. <laughs> I can see. I, told I, can, me. I can. I can see. It. For, for for the audience, yes, more enticing with secrets. For someone that knows you, dark yeah. thoughts would make me come watch. So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I, I can see the difference. So, but, but uh, thank y'all, ladies and gentlemen, for watching another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. I want to thank my guest CT Brandon Broden, and of course Dion Lack for stopping in. Let us know in the comments below uh, what did you think of Shazam? How are you feeling about the first look of Harley Quinn? Does it get you interested in the Joker or not? And then, of course, yo, for all the uh, laughs that we didn't went through in here, man, just always jump in the chat. Join the live premiere on Saturdays and Sundays whenever I decide to drop them on those two days. Yeah, that's right. Two day premieres. Not sure which day I might do it, but this week it will be Saturday because it's WrestleMania and we need that out so I can go straight to the viewer party. So make sure you check it out. Like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you comment below and thank y'all for watching another episode. We'll catch you next time.